What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego self checkout. But before we begin, let's see how it works. We'll need a basket full of items that we want to purchase as well as a carrier bag to place our products in after we've scanned them. So it's really easy to use the self checkout. Just grab a product like this chocolate bar and press the button to scan it and bag your item. And you can repeat this for all the products in your shopping basket. It's really quick and simple to use. And when you're done, you can pay for your purchase by inserting some cash into the slot under the checkout screen. That goes in perfectly. And if you want, you can even print yourself a receipt by pressing the button next to it, which prints out a little minifigure scale proof of purchase. And when everything's completed, you can be on your way with your shopping. So that was just a quick little overview of all the different functional features in this minifigure scale Lego self checkout. It's a nice and simple build and it's really easy to use. Everything's really accessible like the light brick. You just press the button to scan it whenever you want. You can refill the receipt dispenser by simply placing in the receipt and that prints out very smoothly every time. So you can just keep pressing the button to print out more copies of your receipt. And of course, for the employees of your store, they can access the money inside by simply unlocking the door at the back to access all of the cash inside. And on top of that, I'll also show you how to build this cool little shopping basket design. So let's take a look at everything we're gonna need to build it. Here are all the pieces you're gonna need to build the working self checkout. And these are the pieces you'll need to build the shopping basket. But we'll start by building the actual self checkout and that will use two four x four plates with the studs on one side and join them together with a one by eight plate. And you can place two one by two grill tiles over on the right. Then we're gonna wanna attach a bracket piece. Just slide that in and secure that in place with a two by two brick on the right and your second bracket piece, this time with a container, one of the two by two ones. That will be where your money will be stored once it's in the machine. And that can just clip over the top of this piece. So then we can build the receipt area. So that will use a one by two tile, as well as two one by two plates just stacked on top of each other. So that will be clipped just like that. And you can also take a two by two corner plate and clip that over the top. So just make sure that's not clipped down too tightly because we're gonna need to clip a one by one slope piece over on the top of that and a two by two angled brick, one of the two brick high ones just over the top of this whole structure. Then you can take one of these little modified tunnels with the bar attachment on the top and clip that there. A regular one by two brick over on the other side and then a regular one by one brick on the left. And before we fill in the space next to it, we can clip both of our angled Technic pieces together. So just hold them in place and slide them in with one of these Technic pins one of the low friction style pins pieces. That can all clip in to a one by one Technic brick and you'll start to see how this will form the actual button which you'll be able to press to dispense your receipt. You just basically place the receipt into the mechanism just about there and when you lift the button up, the receipt will be dispensed. So that's a very neat little mechanism as you saw at the start of the video. So let's fill in this area, and this will be the working supermarket scanner, which is of course a red light brick. So that can be clipped over on this side. Then attach a one by one brick with the stud on the side, just next to it, and build a regular one by one brick over on the top of that piece. And then we can shape this off with a nice two by one slope piece, a one by two tile and a two by two tile. 
and you can see that's formed a nice little contrasting color and that hides the little scanner and it looks just like you get in real life self checkouts. Then we can add the screen to the self checkout that just clips on sideways so just horizontally onto that piece there and we're almost done. Last piece is a 1x4 tile to clip everything into place and don't forget to load it up with your receipt when you're finished. And now for the basket. The main structure is built around this 1x1 brick with studs on all the sides. So clip two 1x1 tiles with the clips. Just make the clips face horizontally like this. And then for these opposite two sides of the basket for the nice angular shape and to provide the little bars to make it look like this is built out of metal. We can use these modified tiles with the bar attachments. And also to continue that metallic feel, just use some of these modified one by two plates. That really looks like the actual metal wire design of a real life shopping basket. And this is a super cool design because it even allows you some space just to store a couple of tiny Lego food items or products. Then for the handle, this is made out of one of these bar pieces. So that clips onto the middle. And you can seal that in place with the other side of the handle, which is not quite symmetrical, but it still works out with a light gray skeleton arm piece. So that will clip together nicely and just make sure you haven't clipped it too far. There you go, that is good now. And that will provide a nice area for your minifigures to hold your basket. So you can see that's a pretty good scale for the minifigures to hold. And like I said, that will allow you to place a couple of small food items maybe like a drink and a chocolate bar like I've used. So they fit very nicely and that is all nice and complete. So now your working Lego self checkout is complete. And if you'd like to see how to build this Lego carrier bag design, I've actually already shown how to build this as part of my working Lego supermarket checkout video. So if you'd like to see how to build this supermarket style checkout, as well as the minifigure scale carrier bag design, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And I definitely recommend checking that one out because as you can see, I've designed both of these checkouts to look really great when displayed next to each other, especially in a Lego supermarket creation. You can also join me on Patreon for even more bonus how to build videos including some of my best working Lego creations so far, as well as a whole bunch of other exciting benefits. There's a link to my Patreon in the description and I'd really appreciate your support. Don't forget to leave this video a like. Let me know what you think of this working Lego self checkout in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more Lego creations. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.